Just what is eternal life? Jesus and his apostles taught that his followers would receive eternal life. This life consists in seven experiences, seven expectations, and seven decisions. Those who possess eternal life enjoy seven kinds of experience. 1. They know God. Jesus prayed, This is eternal life that they know you, the only true God, and Jesus Christ whom you have sent. 2. They rejoice. The Gentiles heard this, they began rejoicing and glorifying the word of the Lord, and as many as were appointed to eternal life believed. 3. They lead a fruitful life. Now that you have been set free from sin and have become slaves of God, the fruit you get leads to sanctification and its end, eternal life. 4. They keep faith. Fight the good fight of the faith. Take hold of the eternal life to which you were called, and about which you made the good confession in the presence of many witnesses. 5. They have godly knowledge. The sake of the faith of God's elect and their knowledge of the truth, which accords with godliness, in hope of eternal life, which God, who never lies, promised before the ages began. 6. They abide in the Son of God. You abide in the Son and in the Father, and this is the promise that he made to us, eternal life. 7. They pray in the Holy Spirit. You beloved, building yourselves up in your most holy faith and praying in the Holy Spirit, keep yourselves in the love of God. Those who possess eternal life await seven blessings. 1. They will receive abundant rewards. Jesus said, Everyone who has left houses or brothers or sisters or father or mother or children or lands, for my name's sake, will receive a hundredfold, and will inherit eternal life. 2. They will rise back to life. Jesus said, This is the will of my Father, that everyone who looks on the Son and believes in him should have eternal life and I will raise him up on the last day. 3. They will live forever. God will render to each one according to his works, to those who, by patience in well-doing seek for glory and honor and immortality, he will give eternal life. 4. They will be heirs. That being justified by his grace, we might become heirs according to the hope of eternal life. 5. They will not perish. God so loved the world, that he gave his only Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. 6. They will not be judged. Jesus said, Whoever hears my word and believes him who sent me has eternal life. He does not come into judgment, but has passed from death to life. 7. They will not die forever. The wages of sin is death, but the free gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. Those who possess eternal life received it by faith. 1. They believe in the Son. Jesus said, Whoever believes in the Son has eternal life. 2. They heed Jesus' words. Jesus said, Whoever hears my word, and believes him who sent me, has eternal life. 3. They hear God's testimony. This is the testimony, that God gave us eternal life, and this life is in his Son. Whoever has the Son has life, whoever does not have the Son of God does not have life. 4. 
they accept God's love. God so loved the world, that he gave his only Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. 5. They respond to God's grace. As sin reigned in death, Grace also might reign through righteousness leading to eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. 6. They receive God's gift. The free gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. 7. They believe Jesus is God. Jesus Christ is the true God and eternal life. 